My name is Shunya Sakurada. I'm 21 years old. After graduating from high school, I've been working for Sakurada Industries, which is run by my father, but... The company's business is going down, the debt is increasing, and I can't pay it back. Oh, no. If we don't do something, we'll go bankrupt and leave our employees stranded. Can't something be done? I'll do whatever I can. Should ya? There's only one way. What is it? Actually, the president of one of my clients approached me about a loan. Really? That's great. But uh, the condition of that loan was that the president's daughter marry my son. What? Her name is Haragi Tiyama, and she'll be 26 this year. That means she's five years older than me. When I looked at the marriage matchmaking photo I received from my father, a beautiful, solid-looking woman was in the photo. If you don't want to do it, you can turn it down, okay, Shunya? But if I reject this offer, the company might go bankrupt, right? Yeah. I have other siblings, but my younger brother Seiya is 18 years old and just started college. I'm the only one who can get married. Okay, I'll do it. Shunya, are you sure about this? Yeah. I want to protect Sakurada Industries and all the employees. Thank you, Shunya. I'm, I'm really sorry. If she finds out, I'm getting worried. I wonder what Momoka would say. Momoka was my childhood friend and we first met in kindergarten. My kindergarten had a choice of a two-year or three-year program and I enrolled in the two-year program. No, I don't want to go! You'll make lots of friends, it'll be fun. They look happy, don't they? I want to stay with you, Mom! Don't say that. No, no! Kindergarten's so much fun! What? We paint pictures, sing songs, and read picture books. We have field trips, school plays, and Christmas parties. Really? Momoko-chan, you're in the same class as Shunya. Can I ask you to show Shunya around? Yeah, sure! Shunya-kun, let's go! Okay. From this day forward, we played every day. Shunya-kun, let's read a picture book together! Yeah! Be careful not to get separated on the field trip. Shunyaku, let's hold hands. Yeah. We'll be pairing up and practicing for the upcoming school play. You'll dance in pairs. Momoko-chan, let's dance. Yeah. Being with Momoko was so much fun. I wanted to be with her forever. On the day of the open school, for soon-to-be graduating kindergartners during the holiday. Which elementary school are you going to, Shunya-kun? I'm going to Nanakuma Elementary School. It's not the same one. I wish I could go the same one as Momoko-chan. I want to be with you all the time. Oh yeah, we should get married! Married? Now we can be together all the time! That's a good idea! When we're old enough, we'll get married! Yeah! But we stopped seeing each other after elementary school. I only met Momoka in kindergarten and we probably live too far away from each other. 
My mother was too busy with work, so I couldn't even ask to see Momoka. Momoka-chan, I wonder if she's doing well. I met Momoka again during high school. Um, could it be? What? Shunya-kun? Um... Don't you remember me? I'm Momoka. We went to kindergarten together. What, Momoka-chan? I hadn't seen Momoka since I graduated from kindergarten, so I was surprised to see her grown up. Um, it's been a while. Yeah. I was so happy to see her, but I was so embarrassed. I couldn't face Momoka properly. Momoka and I were in different classes for three years. We were in different clubs, so we didn't have much chance to talk. Oh, Shunya-kun! Oh! Wait, Shunya, you're friends with Liyama-san? I mean, we went to kindergarten together. We were so close back then. In my third year, I was chosen to be a member of the festival committee. Oh! Shunya-kun! There, I got together with Momoka. Let's work together. Yeah. We discussed what we're going to do at the festival. Shot together. Made signs. As we did various things together, Momoka and I grew closer and closer. And the after party. I'm glad the festival was a success. Yeah. I'm glad I was able to be a part of the festival committee with Shunya-kun. Me too. Through the preparation for the festival, I began to feel different feelings towards Momoka than the feelings I had when I was in kindergarten. But... I have forgotten about you ever since I graduated kindergarten. Shunya-kun, um... Hey, we're going to have a party, come on! They're calling us, let's go! Yeah. I didn't try to hear the rest of what Momoka had to say. I decided to help my dad's company, which was having a hard time running after I graduated high school. Momoka's going off to college, so our paths will diverge again. Our paths were never meant to cross. Well, I don't think I'll ever see Momoka again. I thought so, but I totally forgot we had a high school reunion. Normally reunions are held on a class by class basis, but to celebrate the anniversary or something, the whole class was invited and it was held at a hotel banquet hall. Long time no see, Shunya. Oh, Momoka. She's become even more mature and beautiful than when we were in high school. How are you? I'm fine. How about you, Momoka? I'm just relieved that I got a job offer from my first choice company. That's great. Congratulations. Hey. Since we haven't seen each other in a while, want to go out for a drink? I hope you'll join me to celebrate my new job. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. It's not good to be told so suddenly, is it? Should we do it some other day? No, I mean... I feel bad for my girlfriend. Oh, I see. Shunya-kun, you have a girlfriend? Well, not really a girlfriend, but... A marriage partner. What? Marriage? Actually, I'm getting married to the daughter of the president of one of my father's business partners. 
No way. I haven't met the woman yet, but I can't go out drinking alone with a girl when I'm getting married to her. That's called a political marriage, isn't it? Are you okay with that, Shunya-kun? I, I don't want to either. All this time, I was only thinking about Momoka. But I decided for the sake of my family and to protect the employees of our company. I see. I'm glad I've met you, Momoka. I've always liked you, Momoka. Why are you saying that now? I'm sorry, I know it's not fair. But I really wanted to tell you before I got married. Then I'll leave the memories of Momoka behind. Uh, uh, Shunya-kun. Be happy. Oh, I'm the worst. I couldn't control my feelings, so I told her I liked her, and I hurt her. I know we'll never be together, but... And on the day of the wedding. Ah, oh, I'm so nervous. It's okay, relax. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Wait a minute. What? I haven't even graduated from college yet, but I'm going to graduate, get a job, and work hard to earn money. I'll save your company no matter what, so please marry me, Shunya-kun. Um... Ever since I was in kindergarten, I only thought about you. My feelings for you have become even stronger since I became a high school student, and I can't forget about you. I don't want to lose you to someone else. I like you too. What? I can only like a mocha. So, will you elope with me? I can't do that. Why not? Because this isn't my wedding. What? It's my brother, Seiya's wedding. What? Really? That's right. Seiya. I've been standing here as a groomsman and now you've stolen the lead role from me. What? What? Actually, when I talked to Momoka, I was going to be the one to marry her. But Seiya, who came with me to our meeting, fell in love with Shuka-san at first sight. I felt like it was fate. So my marriage was broken off and it was decided that she would marry Seiya. Shuko-san's parents wanted a student marriage because they wanted Seiya to graduate from college. And it was promised that he would join Shuko-san's parents' company after graduation. I'm not the groomsman, I'm the best man. She's the bridesmaid and we were walking arm in arm. This was the wish of Shuko-san, a returnee who had lived in the US for a long time. But that's where she chose me as the best man. I'm not wearing a wedding dress, am I? I- oh my god! I am really sorry for ruining your precious wedding! Don't worry about it, it's my brother's fault. It's because you didn't tell Momoka how you felt, right? Yeah, I like you, Momoka. I can't imagine being with any other girl but Momoka. Shunya-kun, I'm so happy. Then why don't we have their wedding ceremony too? Shuko-chan, wow, your wedding dress is beautiful. I thought you were going to walk in here arm in arm with your father. When I came to the door, there was a rustle inside, and I heard from the staff that a woman had come to steal the groom, so I took a peek. Thank God it was your brother. Of course, I'd never fall in love with or elope with a woman other than Shuko-chan. Yeah, I believe you. 
Um, I'm really sorry for interrupting such an important wedding. You two had feelings for each other, didn't you? I'm glad I didn't get in the way. Besides, thanks to you, I met Seiya-kun. I love you so much, Shuko-chan. Shunya's son is going to be my brother, so I want him to be happy. Shuko-san, thank you so much. Uh, Momika-san, right? Since you're wearing a wedding dress, let's have a double wedding. What? No, that's just... That's right, Shuko-chan. This is our own special wedding. That's right. I'm going to leave. Then can Momoka attend as my fiancé? Is that okay? Of course. Please, celebrate with us. Well then, let's start over. I'm gonna walk down the aisle with my dad now, so wait for me, okay? Yeah, I'll be waiting for you, Shuko-chan. It was so cool. I love you. At the reception that followed, Momoka's seat was set aside at the family table. I'm very sorry for the trouble I've caused you, Shunya-kun's father and mother. Of course she apologized to Shuko-san's parents, and Momoka repeated the apology for what must have been the umpteenth time. It's me who should apologize for sacrificing my son for a political marriage. I was an unfit father. I'm glad that Sei and Shuko-san were attracted to each other and decided to get married. But we almost made Momoka and Shuya unhappy. Please forgive us. The marriage was my decision, so it wasn't your fault, Mum and Dad. And I'm so glad that everything worked out. Yeah. It was a really nice ceremony. I cried because Seiya Kun and Shuka san love each other so much. We'll be next. Are you really sure? I told you, I only have Momoka. Momoka, marry me and be my wife. Yes, I look forward to it. I thought I had to marry for the sake of my parents and employees, but... I didn't think it would end happily ever after. From now on, we're going to make this marriage a happy one, full of smiles. I'm going now. Oh. Oh. Uh, morning. She still doesn't like me. I, Shintaro Miura, am hated by my childhood friend Rika Yukishiro for some unknown reason. She was my neighbor when I was born, and our parents get along well. We always hung out up until elementary school. I don't know when she started avoiding me on purpose. Maybe she's just in puberty or something? But she's okay talking to other guys. <sighs> Is this how it's just gonna be from now on? Hey, Shintaro! Let's go to the arcade on the way home! You know, we're having tests soon. You sure you're not gonna fail again? Oh crap! I finally forgot about it and it just made me remember! Don't just start running, man! And look up! Ah! Careful! Uh! You okay? Oh, you okay, Rika? Yeah. Whoa, she's super close. It's been so long since she's looked me in my eyes. Sorry, I'll get off. It, yeah, uh, ouch! Show me your arm. Huh? It's so swollen. Seriously? Let's go to the nurse's office. You don't have to look like that. And thanks for coming by to get me. This has to be the first time we're walking together after high school started. 
She must really be upset that I hurt my arm. Because I heard you went straight to the hospital after the nurse's office yesterday, but... Oh, it was just like one day. They just wanted to run some tests to make sure my head was alright. And there were no problems, so... Uh... Your parents can't come home from France, right? I mean, yeah, they left like two days ago. It was just bad timing. I really only hit my arm, so it's kind of crappy to make them come all the way back home. You know how they say the symptoms can show up a little while later if you hit your head? <laughs> You're too worried. I'm right next door, so if something happens, I'll tell you. Hmm. Ah, I'm here. See ya. Oh man, it actually does kind of hurt and I don't want to move it. I'm glad she's alright though. Huh? Who is it? Coming! Who is it? Uh, Rika? What's up? I thought about it after I went home, but... Thought about what? If your parents aren't here, I'll take care of you. Huh? This is so weird. I didn't think that I would ever see Rika cooking in the kitchen at my house. <sighs> She's really matured. What are you staring at me for? Huh? Oh, sorry, just uh, respecting your efficiency. It's pretty normal. <sighs> she still seems a little unfriendly. Here you go. Oh, it looks good! Rice, hamburger patty, salad and soup. Oh, this is perfect balance. Can I eat with you? Huh? Uh, of course. Were you not planning on eating? Oh, um, no, I'll eat. Thanks. Uh, ow. Uh, does it hurt? I thought a fork would be better than chopsticks to eat, so I cooked the patty. It's fine. I just bumped it on the table. Thank you for being so considerate. Yeah. Oh, thanks for that meal. Thanks for letting me cook. Oh, uh, I have pudding in the fridge. Wanna eat with me? Huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect dessert. Can you get it from the fridge? Yeah. Hmm, pudding is a little hard to eat, though. It slips. Look this way, Shintaro. Huh? Uh, what? Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Is it good? Uh, oh, yeah. She awed me. I was so shocked that I don't even remember the taste. Huh, it's so annoying to take my clothes off. I really feel so bad for her. She's so worried about me, but she doesn't like me. It's not even her fault. I should have caught her better. Ah, oh, dang. It's hard not to get it wet. The shower head seems heavy. Shintaro? Huh? Uh, Rika? What is it? I'm leaving your bath towel. Oh, I forgot. Thanks. You bathing okay? No problems? No, I'm just trying to make my arm not wet. It's uh, tougher than I thought. Okay, uh, can I come in? Huh? Uh, why? I'll help. No, 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 no! I'm coming in now. Uh, stop! Wait! Wait! Oh, I do want you to hide your, uh, uh, treasures. I'll give you a towel. That's not the problem. Here's a towel. I'm coming in in ten seconds. Ten seconds?! Coming in. <sighs> you know... I'll try my best not to look. Did you wash your head? I just soaked it. No, no, this is insane. But it does feel good to have someone wash my head. 
Close your eyes. I'm going to rinse. Okay. You're back next. I don't know about my body. Why not? Wait, the soft things on my back, is it? You're not my girlfriend. I can't have you wash me. Okay. <sighs> then I'll take responsibility and be your girlfriend. Uh, why? Joking. I'll finish up quick. That's not the problem here. Oh. Uh, why are you touching my arm? Oh, sorry. I just noticed the scar. If you do something, I'm gonna be pissed. Uh... I gotta stay calm. Okay, all done. Thanks. I normally just leave it wet. Huh? You don't get bedhead? <laughs> it's pretty bad sometimes. You do... You keep not drying your hair. You're gonna be bald. Seriously? I'm gonna go home now. Oh! Ah! Did you hear that? Was that thunder? Yeah, jeez, it's pouring outside. It's not supposed to stop till tomorrow. Uh, I mean, I'm right next door, so I'll just run home. You serious? It's dangerous. Just stay here. The bath is warm. Huh? Crap. I said that without thinking, but I shouldn't just keep her at a man's house alone. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Mom is saying do that too. I don't want anything to happen to you at night. <laughs> you really worry too much. You're injured, so you need to sleep in bed. Yeah, but it can't make you sleep on the ground. We both argued about who takes the bed, and I was going to sleep in the bed, and she was going to sleep in my mom's bed. Man, that lightning is insane. Shintaro! Huh? What's up, Rika? You going to bed? Nah, it's still early. I'm gonna study a bit. Oh yeah, we've got tests next week. What about you? Not sleepy? Yeah, the thunder is keeping me... I see. Wanna study with me? I can lend you my textbooks. Okay, that'd help me. Hey, Rika, you know how to do this? Hmm? Oh, you know this equation. Oh, I see. Oh, she's really close. I smell my shampoo and I lend her my shirt, but I can kind of see inside when she bends over. Yeah, that part is tricky. Uh, seriously? But we're just kind of talking. I think I can ask her now. Hey, Rika. Do you feel responsible for my injury? I mean, yeah. I see. I was just confused why you were taking care of me when you didn't like me. But, I mean, it's not even your fault. Wait, what do you mean I don't like you? Huh? Wait, you mean I don't like you as in, like, dislike? Uh, yeah? I don't dislike you. If anything, I thought you disliked me. Why? I was glad to talk normally today. I mean, I kind of forced it, but... Huh? You were the one that said you can't play with me when we were in the sixth grade. Uh, I remember that. That was when we were in the sixth grade. We were hanging out with three other friends at the park. It started raining and the others left quickly. Rika and I were hiding from the rain in the slide. But it just wouldn't let up, so we were talking about running home. I pulled her hand and started running, but she collapsed. I heard later that she didn't feel too well. I carried her while bawling and worked so hard to get back to the house. Your arm, 
I saw your scar and that was when I scratched it on some branch of something. I didn't know. I always thought that there was some kind of scar, but I didn't know what I got it. I remembered being terrified of you collapsing and injured. That's why once you got better and came over to play, I didn't want to remember that, you know? I was worried if I couldn't save you this time. Which is why I didn't want to play with you anymore. And it wasn't that you disliked me? Not at all. Sorry I didn't explain myself. I didn't mean to hurt you. No, I'm sorry for misunderstanding. I know I was avoiding you too. Oh, I'm so glad. And now we solved our misunderstanding and you don't dislike me. Yeah, I don't even remember collapsing as a kid. You carried me and you covered for me today. You've been saving me a lot. Oh, we're childhood friends. Don't mention it. I see. She hung out and helped me for the week that my parents were gone. We were around for so long, almost as if to make up for the missing time. My friends pointed it out to me. My injuries were all better, and my tests were completed too. Since Rika helped me with my studies, my scores were much better than before. Oh, Rika! Hey! Morning, Shintaro! <laughs> Morning! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! Morning! Wow, you two are coming to school together again, huh? Be honest with me. Are you two dating? Huh? Uh, no, 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 we're just childhood friends. Right. Oh, Rika, the guy next door is asking for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> you totally just got dumped. What a loser. Dude, chill. Hey, are you okay? I know people are teasing you for being around me. You don't like it? I don't mind it, but... <laughs> me neither. I don't mind them thinking we're dating. Huh? By the way, you said you'd take responsibility or something when you were bathing me. That was a joke. <laughs> Disappointing. Ah, your face is super red. <sighs> I like you, Rika. Me too. Really? I wouldn't be the guy that I don't even like, even if we're childhood friends. My childhood friend was a little embarrassed. My girlfriend now. Thinking back now, I had always watched her even when I thought she didn't like me. I wanted to be by her side. I held her hand with a new determination going forward. I would protect her. N nice to meet you all. A frail voice, a stature that makes you worry the wind would carry her away, sunken cheeks. I, Haruto Kushima, am a sophomore in high school, and I'm curious about the new transfer student. Not in a good way, either. I couldn't help but look at her with pity, because she had eyes that had seen nothing but despair and seemed to have given up on life. It reminded me of myself at some points in life. She must be living a pretty hard life. You can tell as soon as you look at her bento. What the hell? She's eating rice only? Yuck! Stop! She can hear you! I wanted to do something for her, but I was just a geek and there was nothing I could do for her. If anything, I'm sure if I were to do something, people would talk about us some more. I kept thinking of all kinds of things and all I could do was watch her eat her rice. Oh man, there are no customers today. I'm gonna close up shop and go see Haruko-chan. You going to the cabaret again? No, this time it's the bar. I'm gonna flirt with her today. I don't think there's any point to do that. You realize the bartender is basically paid to deal with you and act friendly, right? You're so cynical, my buddy. 
You need to look at the good things in life. Be more positive. Then you should manage your risk better. I only had a father, and my father was always flying around for his job. So I spent almost all of my life at home alone. This bubbly guy is Kenchan, my uncle that runs a small restaurant. I come by his store when I'm bored to eat. Oh, you really are an annoying high schooler. You don't have any girls you're interested in. You should go spend more time around women and learn a thing or two about them. I mean... Oh, Rice. Oh, Rice. Some kind of nickname for a girl? No, it's not a nickname. Not even positive either. Kenchan is the one person that I can tell anything to. I told him about Maki Sakashita. So, yeah, I don't know what to do. You know, I'm glad that you're worried about something like everyone else. Uh-huh. There's only one thing you should do. Here, I got a new bento box. You can have it. Uh, huh? <laughs> the next day... She doesn't have anything other than rice again! I mean, you gotta be able to at least buy bean sprouts or something, right? She must be really poor. <sighs> sakashita san hello. Um, you are? I'm your classmate. I mean, I'm not very outspoken, so I guess you wouldn't know me. It's not just you. I don't know anyone in class. I see. You only have rice again? Yeah, what? You come here to mock me? Look around. Some people are looking at me talking to you and laughing about it. Unfortunately, I'm the one that is mocked. Then why are you talking about my bento? Here. Huh? A bento for you. I only have a dad, so I cook instead. I kind of cooked too much though, so if you'd like, we can eat now. Are you sure? Of course. Wow, it's so good. She still had no expression, but her behavior was honest because she didn't stop moving those chopsticks till she finished eating everything. I should go by Kenchan and tell him about the bento today. Kushima kun! Huh? Sakashita san? Um, thank you so much about today. I think it was the most amazing meal I've had in my life. <laughs> That's probably an exaggeration. My stomach was satisfied and my heart was too. Thank you. She smiled and I couldn't help but admire that. I wanted to make that small smile into a full-blown one, so I continued to cook for her. Thank you for that. It was amazing. You really didn't have to wash the bento boxes for me. That's all I can do for you. I still owe you even after that. It was about two weeks since I gave her my bento. She slowly started to gain some more weight and I was happy to see it. But there are some things that were annoying too. Is it just me or has she grown? She's less skin and bone. What's up? Oh, uh, nothing. Those two are totally in bed together. Yeah, I mean, Kushima seems like a closet pervert. I bet you she does all kinds of things for him in return for the bento. Oh, like a you give me food, I give you kind of a thing? Ew. 
Ugh, disgusting. Geeks sticking together to be less lonely. Geeks in love. There were groups of people that enjoyed mocking us. But I didn't care. And I didn't feel bad having people think that we were dating. Would doing something like that make Kushima-kun happy? <sighs> I'm off today, and you're making me go buy groceries with you? Oh, come on! I'm helping you out with your romance! I don't remember you doing any such thing. That girl you were telling me about before. The way to a person's heart is through their stomach, which means the next step is... But are you listening? Oh! Hello! Uh, Sakashita-san! Hmm? Hmm... Ah, I see. Alright, be happy. You two are the only customers for today. Huh? What are you talking about? What I'm saying is, you're about to experience what it's like to be in love. I'll teach you since your dad can't. Honestly, she's a lot healthier looking than I thought. <laughs> Rice girl, you eat all you like today. Huh? Afterwards, we ate a lot of Kenchan's cooking. He talked to her about regular things and even things to embarrass me. That part wasn't too fun. Sakashita-san seemed to be having fun the whole time, though. She really has come to smile more. I'll get some drinks ready. I've only got barley tea. Uh, don't mind me. Huh, how does this happen? We were just eating at Kenchan's store, and before we knew it, it was dark out, so I decided to send her off. We got to her apartment and she said she wanted me to go inside for a little while, so I walked inside. I didn't have any reason to say no, so I went inside. But thinking about it now, this is the first time that I've been in the same room with a girl around the same age as me. When I started thinking about it, my thoughts started to freeze up. Where's your mom? She's in the hospital. Then, what about your dad? My dad passed away when I was in elementary school. We were a single mother household. I see. I'm in a single father household. I see. At school, I can talk to her normally. Even at Kenchan's restaurant, we were talking with no problem as well. But now, it's weird. I was thinking about what was going on, and she acted in a way I never would have expected. <laughs> this is so awkward. What do I talk about? Kushima-kun... Sakashita-san? I really am so thankful for you. I've never eaten food that was so full of love, and I've never been treated with so much kindness by anyone other than my family. I was so happy, so this time, I want to make you happy too. Which means... I'll do it for you. Huh? Koshima-kun! If I just let her have her way, I'll... Uh, no, no! Huh? Sorry, I need to go home today. Um, thank you for the tea. I'll see you in school. I ran away. It's not that I didn't like her. I was a chicken. But not only that, I just really didn't want her to do that with me as a thank you for my bento. A week later... M morning y Yeah. After that day, she's been acting that way. I haven't been able to make her any of her bento for a week. Oh, what about today's bento? N no, I'm really okay. Thanks. Uh, wait! For these few months, making her bento meant the world to me. So, now that I'm not, it feels like there was a huge hole in my chest. <sighs> 
Hey man, I'm feeding you some amazing food. What are you sighing for? I'm not sighing. You've been sighing the whole time internally. Do you read minds or something? Ah, uh, whatever. Maybe it's a good thing. You're finally acting like a kid your age. You love sick or something? It's about Maki-chan, huh? You get in a fight? What? It's not about love. I'm just bored. I really loved making her food bento and now I just don't know what to do with my free time. Then just make bento for someone else. Well... <laughs> Pretty simple solution, huh? You're not upset because you can't make bento. You're upset because you spend less time with her. You didn't want to make her bento. You wanted to eat with her. You want to see her smile. Am I wrong? I... This light-hearted guy who's always joking around is almost always spot on when it comes to serious things. I left the store and headed to my house. I was thinking about the bento to give her the next day. The next day... Uh, why did I do that? It's not good. Is it cause it's only white rice? No, it's cause Kushima-kun isn't here. Only white rice today too. Huh? Look around. The other students are laughing because I'm talking to the transfer. Unfortunately, I am the mocked one. I remember that. That's the kind of conversation we had the very first time we spoke. Hey, Kushima-kun. I... Let's talk over our meal, huh? What? You know, I work as a stay-at-home wife, sort of. So a uh, part of me couldn't leave you alone all frail, you know? Like maternal instincts or something? Yeah, but it wasn't it. I think I would have wanted to make you bento even if you weren't really skinny. I just want something to do with you. I want to see you smiling the whole time. Are you saying? I like you, Sakashita-san. No, you rejected me. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to be able to do things like that with someone I haven't even been on a date with. And more than anything, I don't want to kiss just because you want to thank me for your bento. I want to be your boyfriend, you know? But that's not fair to you. You haven't gotten anything back from me when you took so much care of me. This is something that Ken-chan taught me, but there is a limit to how kind you can be to someone. There is no limit to how much you can love someone. You don't need to return anything because I like you. I just make you bento because I like you. I like you too. Remember the first time we spoke, I told you I didn't know anyone either? I stopped wanting to deal with anyone, so I just shut them out and nothing went well, and I had no money at all. I changed schools and was mocked for being poor. I thought life was just boring. But after dealing with you, I learned that every day I could enjoy my meal. Thank you for adding joy to my life. <laughs> Thank you too. But let's add a little more flavor, huh? Yeah, I'm excited. But, you know, I can't just be okay with you giving me all this stuff. So I'm going to make sure I can give you the same amount... No. More love than you give me. Uh. Kushima-kun. This isn't a thank you for the bento, okay? She gave me the biggest smile that I've seen. It's your one week anniversary since you two have started dating. I'm gonna cook you a whole lot. Eat up! Thank you so much! You keep doing this every week and you're gonna go bankrupt. 
Then I'll just become a housewife or something. I can cook well, you know. Maki-chan, you gotta help me find someone. Okay. You realize we're in high school, right? You get it too, Maki-chan? <laughs> what? Was something funny? No, I just kind of imagined it a little bit. I don't know what kind of life we're going to be walking down, but you're going to cook and I'll handle the customer service. Wouldn't it be great to run a store together? Yeah, maybe so. Hey, you kiddos trying to mock me for running my own restaurant as a single old guy? <laughs> <laughs> That future is actually not bad. If that ever happened, we'll have to make Kenchan the first customer. My name is Makoto Yamauchi. I'm a sophomore attending Nanakuma High School. I'm on my way home. Huh? Rain? Oh jeez, this isn't just a sprinkle either! I'm so glad I listened to my mom and brought an umbrella. Huh? That's Sakura-san, right? Sakura Ayane-san was a senior in my school. I work as the accountant for the class council and I met her there because she was class president. She's beautiful and has an incredible body. Everyone admires her. <sighs> what do I do? She soaked. I guess she didn't bring an umbrella. Um, Sakura-san? Oh, Yamauchi-kun. Wanna share the umbrella? Huh? Are you sure? Yeah, if you're okay with it. Thank you so much. You've really saved me. Uh, no problem. I didn't even think about it, but now we're under the same umbrella. Um, are you okay? Uh, not getting wet? You're much more wet. You need to put yourself under the umbrella more. Um, you took the train to and from school, right? Yeah, and I gotta switch platforms so it takes like an hour. Oh, jeez, she's gonna get sick. Um, I just walked to and from school, so uh, you wanna swing by my house? Huh? No, 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 not like that. I have a sister, so I figured she's got some dry clothes for you. That would help a lot, but are you sure? If I wasn't, I wouldn't suggest it. Okay then, I'd really appreciate that. My socks are soaked too, so it's really gross. Okay. Uh, I invited Sakura-san to my house. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna go bring a towel, so just hang tight. Here you go. Thank you. Are your parents home? Nah, they're both at work. I think my sister will be home in a little bit. How old is your sister? She's a senior in high school. She goes to Nanakuma Academy. Huh? She's the same age as me, huh? I'd love to meet her. Oh, sure. I'll introduce you once she gets home. Um, can I get changed? Uh, uh, right. Um, hang on. One second. I'm gonna go grab something from my sister's room. Um, what do I take her? I gotta hurry up or she's gonna catch a cold. Huh? That sound. Did she come home? Makoto! Oh, this woman. 
this is this. Um, this is um. Ayane Sakura, the senior at Nanakuma High School, right? You're Azumi Yamauchi from Nanakuma Academy, right? Huh? You two know each other? I mean, we've played against each other a few times in tennis. They always take the championships, though. But I always lost to Sakura-san on the solo matches. That's not true. I always respected your powerful smashes. I always admired your beautiful serves. <sighs> they knew each other, huh? They both quit tennis, so I didn't know. But I didn't expect you two to be dating. He's so young, you know? I was surprised. We're not dating. Uh, I just have a crush on her. Huh? Huh? What? Did you really invite your crush to your house without asking her out? Look at you. I always thought you didn't have the balls. No. She was just soaking wet from the rain, so I was gonna get a change of clothes from your room. And how about you have her shower, huh? I'll lend her some of my clothes. Huh? Oh, you don't have to. It's fine, I always wanted to talk to you. If you have time, we should hang out a little. Thank you so much. Hey, come on now. Let's relax, huh? Thank you. Thank you for that lovely smile. Phew! That shower was incredible. I feel so much better. Wow, she looks so good getting out of the shower. Thanks, sis. I heard from Makoto a second ago. You're the class president, yeah? Yeah. I'm actually the class president at Nanakuma Academy. Wait, really? You know, our schools are so close, but we've never really interacted. We should do something! We're both class presidents, you know? That sounds so fun! There are a lot of rich people in Nanakuma Academy, you know? I think if you have an event or something, our school would love it! How about we talk to our teachers and see what they say? I think it would be amazing. Yeah, I'll talk to them. <laughs> They're really hitting it off. I was so nervous seeing her soaked. But there was no point because Sakura-san was just talking to Sis the whole time. Ah, that's the reality, folks. Yamauchi-kun! Oh, Sakura-san! Thanks for yesterday. I'll see you at our meeting later? Oh, uh, yeah. What are you two doing? What's going on? Um... Uh, it's sad, because there's really nothing there. So, yeah. We'd like to have a joint event with Nanakuma Academy. What do you guys think? That sounds so fun. I think if we can make it happen, it'd be incredible. Okay, I'll talk to our teacher and see if we can work something out. She really is moving things along. She's definitely got the skills. I'm sure Sis is doing the same thing at her meeting now. That's it for our meeting today. Oh, time to go home. Yamauchi-kun! Oh, yes? I'm going to meet up with Azumi-chan after for the event. Wanna go home with me? Huh? You're having the meeting at my house? 
mean, you're a member of the class council, so it would help out, you know? Oh, okay. I get to be with her, but she calls my sister by her first name, but mine by my last. They've already traded contact info, huh? I'm a little sad. I'll pour us some tea. Huh, sis isn't home yet. Oh, I'll help. Sakura-san probably isn't thinking much of it, but I'm so nervous being in a kitchen with just her. Hey, Yamauchi-kun. You said you were crushing on me, right? Ah, uh, I'm sorry! I was really happy. What did you like about me? Um, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm really not good at being social, unlike my sister. But, but I was so happy to be elected as accountant. And uh, you uh, really helped me out, so it drew my attention. <laughs> I remember how scared you were with your trembling voice. It was so cute. I don't even want to remember. But that's how I started to... I'm home! Oh, sorry, Ayane-chan. Let's get started. Oh, yeah! I didn't get to hear what she was going to say. After that day, she started coming over to my house frequently. But I was unconfident in a napsy, so I never did know what she was planning on saying. We're going to have a joint event for this year's field day, and we're going to be competing against them. We'll do relays and tug of wars along with cheer contests. The two schools will work together to folk dance as well. I'll get to know Nanakuma Academy girls! That sounds like it'll be fun! That's how the field day started. Here's, Here's to, a to a good, good match! match. You got this, Yamauchi-kun! Uh-huh! Pull! Pull! We're going to work together as allies now! Uh, yeah! Yamauchi-kun! Azumi-chan! Go! Oh, they're siblings! Yeah, they've got the rhythm down. Um, would you like to dance with me? Oh, yes please. The preparations were tough, but I'm glad everything went smoothly. They're all having so much fun. Yanachi-kun. Oh, Sakura-san. Great work today. Yeah, you too. You aren't going to dance? I would love to, but I have to clean up. I'll help too. Thanks! This is it, right? Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, Sakura-san! Wow, fireworks! Man, they really do have money. Right? I don't think we could ever have fireworks for a field day. Yamauchi-kun. Yes? We were able to have this whole thing come true because you helped me with your umbrella that day. I mean, that was more so my sister's doing than me. The joint event was in part because I wanted to get along with your sister, but more than anything, it's because I wanted to get closer to you. Huh? I am going to college soon, and I thought it was fine if we just hung out on the class council. But it's not enough anymore. I like you. I like you too, Sakura-san. I'm a little younger and not much, but I'll do my best, so let's go out. You're so cute. Sakura-san... Sorry, I totally forgot about cleanup and... Oh, 
Oh, did I interrupt something? N no, not a. Seriously, we were having a moment. <laughs> Wait, she knows everything? Oh my bad. I'll go chase out all the students. You two have a great time. Oh, Makoto? Take good care of her, yeah? Uh, I know. Um, can we try again? Oh, uh, yeah. This love blossomed because I offered my umbrella. I'm going to continue to take care of this love after she goes to college. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video! If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos! See you all next time! Bye-bye!